Now, a bit of fun for me and for all of us. I'm really lucky. I'm joined by one of Hollywood's great, great comedy actors. He first shot to fame in American TV on shows like Saturday Night Live, but it's for his portrayal of characters like Ned, Nederland and the Three Amigos, and Frank and Father of the Pride, for which Irish audiences know him and love him best. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Martin Short. Miriam, you're doing a brilliant job tonight. I know you have a lot of Irish connections, but I never knew that your uncle was the late Paddy Short. The Paddy public. Short. Well, you know, my father was born. He's a fanta he was a fantastic man. We all interviewed him loads of times. Yeah, Paddy Short was fantastic. Cross McGlen. Cross McGlen. My father was born and raised in Cross McGlen, County Armagh, and one of 11 children. One went to uh, uh, Canada, my father, Charles. One went to uh, uh, Birmingham, my uncle Frank, father of Claire, Claire Short. Claire Short, yeah. And one went to uh, New York, my uncle Tom. And the rest stayed there. And so we are going up there on Sunday for a, for a fabulous crock, you know, at Chris Short's bar uh, in the afternoon of a, a Sunday, you know. Is it true your dad stowed away on a ship during the War of Independence, or is that a myth? The War of Independence? Well, that would make me 187 yes. years. Are you 187? No, no, no. First of all, I've had no... Con First of all, I know what you're thinking, but I've had no cosmetic surgery. Because... Because <laughs> you get that look, you know, and no one wants that look. Because uh, no one says, who's that 60-year-old man? They say, who's the fellow who's been in a fire? So, no, you can't do anything of that. Your now, my father did at 17, so this would be 1926, um, stowaway. Yeah. Uh, he was still away and he tried to get into the States. He had two uncles working in Texas and he was deported. Yeah. He was deported. Yeah. Uh, he was deported, thanks a lot. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, uh, but then he came to Canada and they accepted him. <laughs> Hence me. Yeah, but you know, it means an awful lot for us in Ireland at the moment really mean this, that everyone from Notre Dame and Navy came, because it's like we've had a few bad years and people talk about the diaspora and how much it means to us, but in fact this is a real example for us of what it means to us that you've bothered to come and we're all very grateful in Ireland. You know, I think that Notre Dame is one of the great, great, great spiritual hmm. um, universities in the United States of America. Um, <laughs> And it's not just a, a spirituality tied to religion, it's spirituality tied to the type of person that graduates there, that wants to go there. And uh, every, every, every friend of, of my sons that I would go and meet, I was always impressed and happy and went away happy, thinking they're surviving, not only, but thriving, and, 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 and it, it, they're so nourished by this brilliant university. So I, I think it's the greatest university in the United States of America. They approve. And I'm not just saying that because I want your love. Of all the characters that you've played, this is a really predictable question, and you're going to tell me I can't guess, I don't know. What's your favorite character you've played? Frank, we like him here. Well, you know, Frank is, Frank is a, a... Do a bit of Frank for me. Well, the Frank, look how beautiful you look. I love that outfit. <laughs> I loved it when it was in style 18 years ago. I love it now, I love it then. <laughs> No, you look beautiful. No, Frank, you know, he always says, you know, he, he likes different people. He likes the, the candidates. He likes the, the, the people that are there. And the, 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 the shoes are very nice. Gold. Spectacular, spectacular. No, I like, listen, all these characters become your, like your children, so you can't pick who your favorite child. Do you have children? Yes, I do. Who do you like the best? <laughs> all of them. Really? Yeah. Why are you winking with that upstage eye? It's a private joke in Ireland. I, I love them all the best. But yeah. actually, I watched a bit of you and David Letterman doing my research last night. Tell us the story about how you and Tom Hanks and Steve Martin have colonoscopy nights. <laughs> Seriously, let's have a joke here. That was so funny. Yeah, we do. And our friend Walter Parks, you know, you know it's, it's important uh, to after 45 to get a colonoscopy. And what we do is we do colonoscopy <laughs> nights. We have a sleepover at Steve Martin's house, 
And um, I love this story. It's, it's all true. And Tom Hanks, my friend Walter Parks, and I, and we sit there and we all have our little potions, you know, because you, and we toast each other, and um, and then and then you wait, and uh, and who would think with Steve Martin's wealth there'd be one bathroom? I mean, that's that's. <laughs> And then we would play poker, and at no point were there four people at the table. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's such a cool story. Martin Short, honestly, thank you so much for being uh, here. Thank we're you. so My delighted pleasure. you came here. Go Irish! <laughs>